It's Carl McNally. Welcome to episode 2 of The Road to Las Vegas. Carl's training is going great at the minute. Um, Carl is uh, either on form or completely not on form. Now he comes in singing. Um, but he's on form yeah. now. And when Carl's on form, he is literally unbeatable. Um, he's training twice a day every day. He's up here coaching the kids. He's throwing his unusual, fantastic techniques that everybody has seen on, on YouTube and everywhere else. And he threw them in Vegas. And somebody will lose. So Carl, how did you get into martial arts? So I got into martial arts when I was about 15. I was up with my friends one night, so I was up at Cave Hill, running about the usual, and next thing you know, a guy about this size, if you're watching this, thank you very much, hit me two big digs, my tooth and through my lip, and I got knocked out cold. And the next day, I was about to ask people, what happened last night to me? And they're like, yep, you got sparked out cold. I was like, oh no, I have to fix something about this. So I see my best friend Kieran, as you want to see in the vlogs. I hadn't spoken to him in like two years, but we grew up together, like we've literally known each other since we were no age. And he's walking up my street and I looked out, I had a big busted lip and stuff, and I was like, why are your arms so big? And he goes, I'm doing karate, so I was like, ah, give him a bit of a sling, you know, a bit of karate, haha. -ha. And next thing you know, he was messing about in my living room, he was doing pads with me and stuff, and I was starting to enjoy it. So I stopped playing football and went down, and as the good old saying is, the rest is history. Last year, you missed out on the opportunity to go to Vegas. Um, what does it mean to you to be going this year? Well, this year, I think, the past year I've been on that and fighting, and I've, it's probably because of that, the, the disheartenment of not going last time. The other time I found myself, jeez, oh, imagine I went to Vegas and fought the International Fight Week. So last year, I come up to training and stuff, I wasn't training properly, it was, Come up to the fight though, for the big qualifier, I was just not into it. And then now I'm like, this is the chance. Now I know what I'm missing out on. Because I know I can win this. I know I'm going to win this. And just the big, massive motivation now. I'm fighting the same week as McGregor fight week. McGregor's massive for the sport now, but I'm aiming to be past that, so I am. I'm aiming to go straight past that, that title. I'm going to do it in three fights, is what I'm aiming towards. And I know that when I go there, there's going to be fighters watching, there's going to be Dana White's going to be in the same building. I want them to go, jeez, who's this house kid that can fight like mad? He's going to have a few pro fights, maybe two or three, and then the UFC is going to bang, nap him up. He's that good. So it's a big chance to show my skills, and I'm going to show my skills. So, Carl, I'm going to go and you're telling us that story about your mate Kieran, who trained in karate. Yeah. You still train with Kieran, right? Kieran? Flip. Yeah. I haven't seen him in a while now, it's just. He rang me the other day and he says, he's coming to Vegas as well, so he is. <laughs> <laughs> got the big man going. So we do. He's joining in 70 kilo division, so he is. He in the north. So Kieran, how do you feel about the trip over to Vegas? Definitely looking forward to it. Can't wait, it's a big opportunity and I'm hopefully gonna do maybe half as well as Carl says he's gonna do and I'll be looking brilliant.